You are back again for part 4 of the face rig tutorial. Now we've progressed on to the face rig specific animations. Open the face rig documentation and go down to the animation section. For each animation in Blender, go to the animation tab at the top, then from the drop down on the bottom left, select action editor and hit new to create a new action for each animation. Right now your avatar is probably in some type of default pose or T pose. We will use this as the base, so hit new and name this one base. That way you can reset the pose if you need to. You only need the idle one animation to upload to face rig, and I suggest testing the upload process before making any more animations. Hit new again to create another, and name this one idle one. In the action editor panel, you have keyframes for making the animation. So to set up the panel, go to the bottom right and select the start frame to zero and the ending frame to 30. Now at the bottom, Hit the start point button to put the timeline cursor at the start point. From the drop down, go back to your base and click your model, then tap A, tap I, and select lock rot scale. Now select idle 1 from the drop down. Click on your model again, then pose it into an idle pose. If the armature isn't movable, then you need to switch the window to pose mode. Once you pose the idle position, again tap A, tap I, and then click lock rot scale. This puts a keyframe on the timeline to record the current position. Now go down to the timeline and click to move the cursor to frame 30. And do the same thing, AI lock rot scale. Now move the cursor to frame 15 and pose your avatar in a slightly different way. Then AI lock rot scale again. Now go down to the bottom and hit play to watch your idle animation and see if you like it. You can add any extra movement points or make it longer or shorter than 30 frames, that's up to you. If you're only testing the upload process, then have the middle movement be something extreme so that it's easy to notice in face rig. I did this by having my torso rotate 90 degrees. The face rig importer documentation lists all the animations you need with a slightly vague description of what it needs to be with the start and end frame on most of them. Assume that all the animations start at 0 and end at 30, except the idle pose, which can be however many frames you want. You will use this process to create each animation with the specific name the documentation calls for. Each one starts from the idle pose, so before you click to create new, move the timeline cursor to the point where the animation is in idle pose so that it transfers the position over to the new one. The new button basically duplicates the current animation, so you'll need to delete the rest of the keyframes, minus the idle pose, before making the next one. You will find as you move along this process that some of your bones deform the face weird when you try to make the animations, so just go back to edit mode on the main page and adjust the weight paint to get it to do what you want. Once you have all your animations, we are ready to export them to the folder we created initially. But do not forget to rename all your bones and remove the periods so that it doesn't error the upload process. First, go back to your folder and create a new folder inside it. Name this one Anim. Now create another folder inside that one and name it General Movement. Go back to Blender and on the Animation tab, select Base from the dropdown to reset your avatar to default pose. Then go back to the Layout tab to verify you're in default pose. Now go to File. Export and select Collada. On the exporter, click to unhide the side panel if it's hidden, then go through the tabs. Check the triangulate box to remove excess polygons. Check to deform bones only. Now browse to your face rig folder and save this into the main folder as whatever you want it named with geometry and click export. Now go back to your animation tab and select the idle one animation from the drop down and go back up to file export. One note before I go further, if you made your idle animation longer or shorter than 30 frames, you need to go down to the end frame box on the animation tab and make the end frame whatever it is for idle 1. In my case, it was 240 frames, so I put 240 here. But when uploading all of your other animations, you need to set this back to 30. This time, export it and check the include animations box and check keep keyframes, all keyed curves, and include all actions. Now browse to the general movement folder you created and export, naming it as the animation name. At this point, if you want to test the upload process, you have everything you need. Otherwise, do this same process for each animation you created, naming them according to the documentation and into the folder the documentation says they should be in. I suggest only uploading with idle one to verify your camera is in the right position and everything else works before putting too much effort into it. Keep in mind that any time you adjust the arbiture, you need to re-export every DAE animation you've made, including the default geometry one. Now we're ready for the uploader, so go to your model folder and click the uploader shortcut to open it. And we'll meet again in part 5.